Oh dear. It's the start of the year. It's January. Everyone around you is miserable, grumpy, short-tempered. Nobody's got any money. Everyone's unhappy. <sighs> but it doesn't have to be like that. Over the next five or six minutes, I will share with you at least a dozen ways in which you could cheer yourself up, cheer your friends up, cheer your work colleagues up, cheer everyone up. So stick around, five, six minutes, I'll share a dozen ways in which you could be happier at the start of this year. Hi there, my name is Ian Dixon. And for the last 20 years, I've been helping business owners just like you to become healthier, wealthier and happier. And today, I just want to spend five, six minutes with you uh, and sharing with you at the start of the year some ways in which you could perhaps help people to become, help yourself and help others to stay positive, happy, upbeat and motivated to have a really good month. So... What I'm going to do is move myself over here and put a little bit of video up while we're talking to you. So, um, first thing I want to talk to you about is your mindset. So, I've written some things down here this morning. So, mindset. Reframing your mindset and your perspective. And think of January as a fresh start, a blank canvas, uh, full of possibilities, full of things that uh, give you, ex that should help make you feel excited about the new year. Um, not filled with doom and gloom. So, so mindset's really important. Set yourself some good, I, still, I call them gifts. So this is post Christmas gifts. Set yourself some goals and some things that you want to achieve at the, start, at the start of this year. I've been doing this with clients over the last, uh, uh, all, all of this week and the, at the back end of last week. Um, what do you want to achieve this year? Always start with the end in mind, as Stephen Covey famously said. So um, and another really good thing is to show uh, gratitude to others. Uh, one of the things that I've learned over the years, it's almost impossible not to feel good if you uh, show uh, gratitude to others. You know, it, it's kind of a, a, a medication that if you give to others, that it kind of comes back at you. So showing gratitude always scales with more than you'd expect. So show some gratitude this month. You'll cheer them up, but it'll also cheer you up too. Little secret. Boost your mood. So if you're at your desk, if you're um, working away and you're starting to feel low, get out. Get out and about. Start moving. Exercise releases endorphins. This is something that I do frequently through the winter months as well as the summer months. It's harder to get out in the winter. I get it. But get out and about, um, it releases endorphins. It's science, right? So it's a, a, a natural mood booster. So it lifts you up and gets you going. Um, it'll help you um, uh, combat the winter blues. Even a walk, going for a good brisk walk, a bike ride, take the dog out. If you haven't got a dog, pretend you have or borrow somebody's. Uh, you don't need a dog. Get out and get walking sunlight so we don't get so much sunlight here in the winter months but that doesn't mean we don't get any in fact one of my favorite walks is the blue sky winter walks i did one at the weekend uh, watch the sun come up 10 to 8 down on the seafront it's a fabulous way again to uh, it's kind of a, a a boost it gives you a boost um, make sure you're eating properly, you know, nourishment is, you know, I'm telling you things, you know, um, but we've come off the mince pies and we've come off the cakes and we've come off the Christmas puds and, and the sweet tin, but, you know, if there's any sweets left, get rid of them. Don't be picking at them while you're watching TV in January. They should be gone now. Um, switch that diet over back over to a healthy diet. Nourishing your body is really important. Um, sleep. So again, I'm telling you things I'm sure you should know, uh, making sure that you are giving yourself enough time to sleep. Um, I've actually been uh, over the last week, I've been going to bed earlier. Um, I wake up earlier, but that's no bad thing. I just get up, but I go to bed earlier. I don't have any problems falling asleep. Um, coming off the alcohol uh, in the new year. I know a lot of people do dry January. 
Uh, but um, coming off of alcohol, alcohol will help you get to sleep, but actually has been proven to give you a disruptive night's sleep. So, so the um, coming off the alcohol um, is a good thing to be doing too. Listen, um, all things in moderation, right? Connect and recharge. Spending time with loved ones just because you've spent Christmas with them and you get you know, you're back to work. You know, it's a good habit. Get back, you know, and, and keep that thing going. Spending time with friends, family. Um, again, these are fabulous ways to lift your mood as well as the mood of others. Um, hobbies, <clears throat> you know, what new hobbies are you going to do? Get, you know, maybe not the gym unless you want to like queue up at the door. Um, and find other things to do, um, things that, are, you know, they don't have to be uh, exercise, just new hobbies and uh, things to do that, uh, uh, what I call uh, bowl fillers that are interesting to you. <clears throat> um, maybe some volunteering. This, you know, this time of year, uh, all, all of our charitable organisations are screaming out for support. <clears throat> Excuse me, too much coffee already. Yes, um, screaming out for support. So getting out to into the community and helping people uh, and volunteering is a fabulously uh, positive thing to be doing. Uh, what else did I write down here? Um, yeah, uh, meditation, yoga, anything that is holistically based that allows you to get inward rather than outward. Um, I find uh, certainly recently spending time with the television off, reading a book can be very mindful and relaxing. And like I say, uh, spending time with people in environments like uh, yoga environments uh, is a fabulous energy filled environment for, uh, for mindfulness as well. So. Um, uh, being kind to yourself, I, I'm going to do another video uh, uh, which explains why customers should be fifth on your list, not first. And uh, one of the priorities, of course, is you. So, you know, don't be beating yourself up if you haven't done this or you haven't got that or you've run out of this and you've run out of that. Um, you're not the only one. So, uh, you know, don't be beating yourself up. Stay positive. Embrace change. So uh, the, the only constant is change and getting out of your comfort zone and uh, trying new things. And, you know, I get excited about uh, challenges like that. So, um, you know, I, I run a, um, you know, I ask people, um, you know, what's outside the comfort zone? And people give me all of these words like fear, challenge, uh, upset, worry. No, outside the comfort zone is the learning zone. It's a fabulous place to be. So embrace change and get out of your comfort zone is a good thing. Um, and then lastly, <clears throat> it doesn't matter how small they are. And there may be clients that watch this will have heard me say this to them over the last four or five weeks. It doesn't matter how small the win is. Celebrate, mark it, um, identify it, call it out. Even the smallest of wins is worth um, uh, making note of, you know, is that there is always something positive in the day. So uh, whether it is because you stayed off the cake, stayed off the booze, whether it's because you laced up and went out for a walk rather than sat at your desk all day, whether it's because you joined a yoga class, whether it's because you showed some gratitude to somebody, you know, celebrate the smallest of wins. It will help you. There you go. There's probably a dozen there. Um, I just scribbled some things down this morning and I just thought it's a good time of the year to share some ways in which you should, could and would like to stay positive I'm sure. And it's infectious right so you know start putting that out to others and let's have an amazingly positive, happy, uh, motivational 2024. I'm excited for the new year, always am. Um, let's turn a new page. Have a fabulous year. Lots of videos to come. Thank you for watching. Please do hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really does help me hugely if you do. So because it tells YouTube that you want to see more of that content. So thanks for watching. We will catch up with you again soon. Stay positive, stay happy, share with others and we'll catch up with you again soon. Bye for now.